The ARPA Module 1047 Multimode Filter Resonator introduced several significant features to the modular synthesizer landscape. For one, it was one of the very first multimode filters, meaning it could output four individual filter responses simultaneously. Low pass, band pass, high pass, and notch. Second, its bandpass output had just a gentle 6 dB per octave roll-off or slope on either side of its voltage-controlled center or corner frequency. This made it more ideal for replicating acoustic instruments. You see, at the time, other so-called bandpass responses were cobbled together by coupling a low-pass and a high-pass filter together, which tended to have much steeper slopes, and therefore rejected harmonics far too aggressively to create a realistic acoustic sound. By comparison, the 1047 was much better at replicating the sound of a room, a pipe, the body of a violin or a guitar, etc. Third, the 1047 could be used as a percussion module. You could patch a trigger or gate, which signified the start of a note from either the keyboard or the sequencer, directly into the 1047, causing it to oscillate or ring briefly on its own. The duration or decay time of this oscillation was set by its resonance control, and it could be tuned using the frequency control. Most analog drum machines of both yesterday and today use this ringing filter trick to create shell-based sounds like kick drums and tom-toms. The Module 1047 Multimode Filter Resonator was so significant at the time that Dennis Colin of ARP presented a paper on it at the 1971 Audio Engineering Society Conference. The 1047 still stands up today as being a feature-rich and good-sounding filter module.